Hey guys, what's going on? Um, today I'm going to be going over my CSGO props for August 10th. If you're new here and haven't heard, I have started a Patreon around four days ago. We have been absolutely killing it. Feel free to get in. You, uh, the link is in the description and in the comments down below. It's just patreon.com slash test the limit. There's two tiers. You can get League of Legends VIP, which is every single via, uh, slip for League of Legends that I play. Or you can get All Access VIP, and that includes CSGO, League of Legends, and MLB. We actually smashed MLB today, luckily. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're having a lot of fun in there. We've been chatting around, so feel free to join the Discord and join the Patreon. And hopefully I will see you guys there soon. So let's just get into my top five props for August 10th for CSGO. There's actually a lot of value on this slate. My first play and my favorite play of the night is Autex over 32. He has an average of .67 kills per round, and I expect there to be plenty of rounds in this matchup. My guess is around 28 rounds per map on average, with possible overtime on one of the maps, maybe even both. The odds of this game are just extremely close. It's like both of them are like in the, in the minus 110, like minus 115 each. Um, he's been performing really well lately. This number is just way too low for him. I have him projected for right around 38 kills between the two games, maybe even more. Uh, like I said, this is definitely my favorite play of the night. Um, I'm not sure if CSGO plays have been getting bumped just like Leak has, but yeah, I mean, him at 32 is just way too low and I would lock this in as soon as possible. Um, the second prop that I have is Fesser over 41.5 kills. I'm going back to the well with him. I've played him quite a few times recently. He has an average of .79 kills per round. And as I mentioned with Altex, I expect there to be plenty of rounds between these two maps. They are on the same team. They're both on Astralis, but like I said, the odds are so close and I expect there to be plenty of rounds that I'm not really afraid of them stealing kills from each other. Because I think these two players are going to be the two the two big players on the team that are getting a ton of kills in these rounds. Um, Fesser is an extremely close matchup tomorrow. Like I said, the odds of his team sit, are sitting at minus 121 as I write this. He has been performing extremely well the past couple of games, and he tends to get a ton of kills. I expect this to keep going into tomorrow and absolutely love this play. Obviously, you can't put Fesser and Altex in a two-man power play, or I would. Um, but yeah, feel free to pair them with somebody else in a three-man, or just play all five. I always, when I post YouTube videos, I always play all five in a slip. And then for my VIPs that are in the Patreon, we get all the plays before they get bumped, especially for League. Um, and then we get uh, all my slips, so a lot of the two-mans, three-mans that I play. Prop number three, I have Donk over 38.5 kills. He has an average of .74 kills per round and should have plenty of round potential. The odds in this game are plus 103 to minus 125. So yet another extremely, extremely close game. There should be 28 plus rounds average between the two maps in my opinion. I think one of the maps goes to overtime. Doc has performed extremely well this morning, and I expect to see that again tomorrow. I have him projected for right around 42 kills and think that he goes over 38.5 with ease. Prop number four is LNZ over 35. He has an average of .71 kills per round and is against Spirit Academy. As I mentioned with Doc, there should be plenty of rounds here, and I think this has plenty of potential. I have LNZ projected for right around 40 kills, so 35 is super low. He's a terrific player, and I think that he hits this number with ease. And my last prop of the day is Xing, Xigen, Xigen? I, don't, I don't know, man. Over 20.5 headshots. He has an average of .41 headshots per round. Odds in this game are close, plus 158 to minus 238. And I think there's, there's plenty of potential to see 27 or 28 rounds per map. He's been a headshot monster lately with the majority of his kills coming from headshots and I really just love this play tomorrow. I project him for right around 41 kills and he has a 56% headshot rate. The kill line is also in a really good spot if you prefer to take that instead of headshots, but I'm personally rolling with the headshots. 
Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And join the Patreon if you haven't already, at least the Discord. We've been having a lot of fun in there.